He just opened his mouth and said he ain't had nobody. Look at the team he had. Van Axel, Finley, Dirk, Bell. He had Nash, of course. He ain't had nobody. He had players. He couldn't do nothing with us. All right, now we're in the driver's seat. What we going to do? What we going to do? What we gonna... I think we going to go crazy. Oh, I got to wait for him. I can't even push nothing. You got to use your listener ears. I said, I'm about to go crazy. What's a problem is incurred? Come on. What is this game talking about? I can't even push A. Push A. Why am I static?
We've got the Lakers and the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. And Grant, the teams we'll see tonight have some strong veteran leaders. You were in that role not too long ago, my friend. You're right, B.A. It feels like just yesterday. And you need a steady presence and voice on the player side. It really can help a team through some rough stretches throughout the year. Now James. To the middle. Here's Prince. Back to James. Shot clock at six. Double team on James. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Melton outside. Shoots over Davis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Willing to sacrifice himself for the play. Melton took that foul. Well, Clark, it's nice to have a guard like DeAnthony Melton who takes care of business on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I love that about him. Old school two-way guard, B.A. He can make shots, he can make plays, but he also can defend. And he does it all with the level of professionalism and focus that you like to see. Here's Batum. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Over Prince. Batum's shot is off. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Reeves. Here's Davis. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. You know, Davis is so long and strong inside, he almost forces you to foul him. Well, Clark, we often note the offensive impact from Davis, but he also gets it done on the other end of the floor. He is the best defender in the league in my mind when you look at all the aspects of playing defense. He's a multiple block shot champ. His anticipation and timing at the defensive end, uh, top shelf. For three, Maxi doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. To the inside. Here's James. Batum with the defensive effort. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. The Sixers again can't hit. On the wing, Reeves. Pass to Davis. Davis puts it down with a 40. And his team is just going wild about it. Man, that was impressive. Now here's Maxi. Batum outside. And there's the drive. Oh, it's stolen. Well, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. James. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Pass to Maxi. Right. 
to end the drought. And he misses again, now 0 for 3. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. And slam dunk by James. <laughs> Never gets old seeing LeBron explode off the floor like that. Maxi, that's good. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Inside. Maxi on the wing. Just five to shoot. Here's Batum. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Selfless pass there from Maxi. Really able to handle the guard position quite well. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. This is Maxi at his best, attacking the lane and finishing at the rack. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Trailing by two. And that one's good. Melton. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Down low. Here's Davis. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice, not to mention to be with a team whose goal is to win championships. Now here's Melton. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Davis. And again, it's Philadelphia. Hey, go to that whenever you can. I mean, MB has a huge advantage in size and skill. To the paint. Here's Davis. Soft touch off the glass. Davis has got seven points. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Melton outside. Stolen by Davis. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Here's Christie. Pass to Davis. And Davis slams it home. Creating separation using the bounce. That's a skill that AD's developed over the years. Out to Covington. That shot is off. And stolen by Covington. Here's Beverly. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry and with an edge. He's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. Both free throws good from Beverly. Here's Russell. Still no points. James, outside. He takes it in, and it's Martin with the rebound. Takes a three. The shot won't fall. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Lakers ahead, leading by one. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Lakers. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Wood with the screen. And it's Russell on the drive. Wood misses. The Sixers trailing. 
for three. Maxi. Wood grabs the board. And the Lakers with possession here. Mark, you look at Christian Wood. When he's in the right situation, he's productive. Very much so. You give him minutes and he'll put up numbers. It's that simple. Takes pride in his glass eating and can score from different levels. Here's Maxi. An easy two on the layup. Maxi's got six. You know, Maxi finds all kinds of ways to score, and he knows only one speed. Flat out, all out. Down low. Here's Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt slams it in. What he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. Pass to Covington. Beverly for three. Wood grabs the board. The Lakers in the lead. Russell with the ball. Now guarded by Beverly. Here's Vanderbilt. Good work defensively by Oubre. And here are the Sixers now. Close the net on two minutes played here in the second. Pass to Covington. Clock at six. Outside Oubre. From the arc. And he buries his first look. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Outside Oubre. Beverly, right side. Jams it in off a great move. And really impressive athleticism of Beverly. I mean, rose up quickly for the tenacious slam. Russell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Patrick Beverly. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Pass to Batum. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. And here are the Lakers. If you look back on Sixers history, the list of legendary big men is a long one. Exactly, B.A., and let me tell you this. Embiid's name is right there near the top of that list. You know, you think about the likes of Chamberlain, Moses Malone, those guys certainly on the list. Embiid joining them, that says a lot. And they'll turn it over. Could he get the shot off? A shot clock violation. The Lakers making a switch here. And so it's Embiid with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. They trail by one. Harris outside. Back to Maxi. Here he goes. And it's blocked by Davis. That infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Outside Maxi. Damn, man. A two. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the 76ers lead by one. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. Here's James. It's hauled in by the Sixers. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Philadelphia. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. And Clark, it's safe to say that there's more talent in the uh. NBA today than ever before. I don't think there's any question about that, B.A. There are more outstanding players across the country and around the world than at any time, I think, in the history of the game. In part because of the information age we live in, players from around the world can see examples of excellence from whatever part of the world they happen to be from. And that is huge in inspiring young players to dream and realize their dreams 
of being NBA players if they have the ability and the work ethic to do so. Oh. Stolen by Davis. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Nope. There's a minute 17 left in the first half. To the inside. And stolen by Melton. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Maxi. And that one's good. Now four for ten. Scoped out the turnover, ran out ahead of the play, and Maxi finished things off nicely. Vanderbilt with a screen. Here's Davis. And Davis slams it home. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Back to Melton. The shake. Second chance effort. Mm. Davis with the rebound. Mm, too far. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Mm -hmm. Here's Reeves. He's looking good. Damn. Two buckets and three attempts. Good Credit move. their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. To the middle. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Nice pass from Melton. Solid job at getting it to his teammates. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Lakers on top. They lead by a bucket. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's Reeves. James outside. Batum pulls it in. The Sixers trailing. And Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. VA, there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible. His high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. A credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness. Melton misses. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. LeBron, attack mode. Finished off the break. James is the run attack mode. You know, it's really hard for me to say if Mega Tron anyone better at finishing through Mega 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 LeBron, LeBron more so big and strong and more than time inside Melton outside more than down to Tom. five on the shot clock for the lead. The Lakers with a rebound more than now. The Lakers moving it up. Here's Reddish. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws. More than Bronson. There's no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward. More than Bronson. Simple. Tom Morphin. First free throw is good. Two shots. Meta Morphin. Both good from the line that time. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Maxi surveys. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Harris left side. Up top, Maxi. Give him eight. And he can't bank that one in. The Lakers in the lead. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. 
Hey, Brian, well, the Sixers have so much firepower, but it's all about chemistry. Anyone knows the way teams grow is by talking and being around each other. The connection between the stars is what's going to help them to reach their peak. Brian? Well, they've oh, had to deal what? with That's at the top of the sure. meter. Allie, thanks. How do you miss? It's James on the wing. Pass to Davis. Puts it up from 12. Can't get the putback. And Harris has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Four-point game. Batum with it. And Davis with the ball. Wow. He just waited for him to go up with strength of the king. Too little. Fighting through contact. Not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. What? Pass to Embiid. To win the cold spell. Misses at the rim. On offense, here are the Lakers. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Three, Maxi. Damn, it's Davis really with a so rebound. Fast, it's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy yeah, around so. what to do with him. That's a up. Pass to Reddish. Back to James. We've got about three and a half minutes here. They made the Joel and B come over late. Boy, really I nice definitely play. saw LeBron that. Showing real good he instincts on the late. offensive glass there. And Philadelphia calls time here. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Both teams making some changes here. Boy, they're in a rough patch right now. <laughs> yeah, momentum is definitely not on their side. Here's Morris. Up and in on the layup. say, yo, that meter went away. the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. James up top. He's got 12. It's stolen by Ubre. Pass to James. And slam dunked by James. Uh, and that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, mean. That makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. To the inside. Oh, Morris with a steal. Here's Springer. And he gets that one. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. On offense, here are the Lakers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second Why half. Foul of that is the savvy of LeBron on display. Doesn't just convert, but draws the foul and has the chance to tack another one on his point total. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Davis can't hit. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. He challenges the defender and throws it down with two hands. Man, just straight power on that one. Clear the deck. Yeah, I love that determination right there. James. Here's Prince. Banked it in off the glass. Mm. 
And the Lakers lead by six. You know, it's not often that we see Prince hit the offensive glass, but that time he read the ball well. Come to me, come to me. 29 seconds left in the third quarter. Picked by Reed. No, six on the shot clock. Oh, it's stolen. Yo, away. get the ball. And they're on the run. Here's Reeves. And he oh, God it damn. down with one hand. And this kind of play is only going to grow their lead, holding the other guys down on defense and converting on the turnover. Oh, James nice. deciding where to go with it. Oh. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Lakers on top, up by eight. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. The Sixers trailing. Beverly with it. Stolen by Russell. Oh. Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to James. He's off on the layup. Now Philadelphia with it. Here's Martin. He can't hit the free throw wow, line jumper. Man. The Lakers Wide with the open. ball. They lead by eight. Wide Biggest open, lead the game. Wood left side. Now here's Vanderbilt. No. Five to that shoot. Wide open. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Russell with the ball. Now guarded by Beverly. To the middle. Here's Martin. Rebound, wow. the Lakers. Wow. 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 James attacking. And it's slammed in by Atsumura. No contact at all when I jumped up in front of him. Times. That's a nice dime from the king. Here's Beverly. Oh, Wood grabs God, the board. Why didn't come out the paint? Yo, you see me pulling up. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. And Philadelphia calls time here. Swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. I had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. Coach asked his team, can that, anyone the knock down be doing a three? That reminding them three-point shooting will open doing up the floor, that, uh, make things <laughs> easier in the half-court offense. Everyone loves making threes. Missing? Not so much. Yay. All right, appreciate it, Ali. Here's Maxi. Shoots from the baseline. Misses off the left iron. It's Reeves with the drive. Misses from short range. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Embiid misses. And James has got the ball here for Los Angeles. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Yet another stellar night for LeBron offensively so far. In some ways, he's just unstoppable. Ooh, look at Embiid converting in close. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit, but it has to be a team effort. James. And it's Harris with the rebound. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Back to Oubre. Now here's Embiid over Vanderbilt. Nails the baby hook. Embiid's gotten four this quarter. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. LeBron deals with a ton of physical defense, and he dishes out some physical contact, too. But that's why he works so hard on his body. I mean, you might foul him, but you're not going to push him around. No way, Jose. Both free throws good from James. And it's the Sixers with the ball. Trailing by 10. Maxi with the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Vanderbilt no good. Down low. Here's Harris. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Harris has got his first bucket in this one. Embiid gives you a lot. Scoring, rebounding, defense, and he can also beat you with the pass. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. The Lakers in the lead. Davis a screen. Pass to Reddish. On the wing, Davis. It's stolen by Maxi. Here's Melton. And the layup is good off the glass. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the 76ers. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. To the paint. Here's Embiid. And Davis with the block. Back to Maxi. Tries again. Shot clock at five. Late clock, the Sixers need to pull it up here. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Here's Reeves. Pass to James. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. One of the dominant dunkers in the league. Davis can put on the show in there. And he makes it. So great seeing Maxi come through in the big spots. Continuing to evolve right before our eyes. To the middle. And Davis slams it home. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. And it's Maxi missing. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Right side, Davis. The shot off that time. Good D by Harris. The Sixers trailing. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points, and they need them bad. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. From deep, Melton. Up again. And he buries it. wants the ball in these situations. He wants that shot. He wants to come through for his team. Melton attacking. Yes! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Here's James. Good D by Harris. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. Yeah, made for spots like this. It's the king at the line. 
And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. Ouch! That was a missed opportunity. Could have put this game on ice. Here's Embiid. Oh, no good! Uh, the game over, bro. You know you would be saying the same thing. The game is over. What is you causing the game for, man? You picked the team you had to get the win. And they foul to, intentionally. To make sure you secure a win, head ass. It's in this shit. I'm getting off after this one. This nigga will pick Good on the first. A superstar. And that makes it a three-point lead. You know, when you have the ball in your hands as much as LeBron does, these situations are right, a let him win. And because of that, he's learned how to handle them quite well. Why is that calling time out for him? So he get outside the court? Those shots seal. Oh, good. I'm hot now. Hot power. Wow, wow. Oh, Pass the ball, nigga. For three, Maxi. Off the mark. And so it's the Lakers who scrape oh, yeah, by with the win. Gave it up. They played the oh, villain tonight, and they, they played it well. Uh, <laughs> yes, they did. Balls. You know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility hey. in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as It'll, motivation. It don't make they me mad I lose, y'all. Well, me folks, faking. that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kent. I'm trying to Because it make them mad. And they corny and shit. 22. 0 for 6, yo. His shots was crazy. Like, I shouldn't have been pulling with him at all. I'm off, man. I'm off.